This afternoon, a federal judge in Washington heard extended arguments and lawsuits over the January 6th Capitol attack filed against former President Donald Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and Huntsville area Congressman Mo Brooks. The court heard more than four hours worth of arguments today. News 19 chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson joins us now in the studio. So, Brian, what happened? Right, so the lawsuits allege the defendants had a role in inciting the January 6th attack. We listened to the arguments by phone. That included long discussions about if then President Trump is immune from suit because of his office, and there were questions about what conduct of a president would not be immune. Arguments also focused on whether First Amendment protections prevent claims about inciting a riot. Congressman Brooks is an attorney and represented himself today in court. Now, the lawsuit claims Brooks's speech at the Stop the Steal rally incited violence that day. He argues he can't be sued because he was acting in his official capacity as a congressman when he spoke. Brooks said the White House asked him to speak, and his role includes certifying op or opposing the Electoral College vote as a member of Congress. An attorney for the Justice Department repeated the department's position that Brooks was engaged at a campaign rally, not official duties, and he shouldn't be given immunity. Now, regarding the lawsuit, Congressman Brooks says the context of his speech focused on the Electoral College. Brooks also told the court today that a House Democrat last year asked the House Ethics Committee to investigate his January 6th conduct, but the committee declined to pursue an investigation. The DOJ attorneys say Brooks's conduct was campaign related. Specifically, they told the court Brooks's court filings make multiple references to 2022 and 2024 in defending his speech. Brooks has stressed his kick bleep remarks on January 6th were about upcoming elections. Now, U.S. District Judge Amit Mehta for the U.S. District Columbia Court in Columbia, sorry, the U.S. District Court in Washington, D.C. is hearing the cases. Christine.